we learned a great many lessons from these battles in World War II, in some cases the hard way, and one of the things we did was we were able to develop additional landing craft and tactics, such as the LCU, landing craft, utility, and how we were able to use them, for example, at Incheon in the Korean War, during the Vietnam War, we developed the Brown Water Navy, as a lot of veterans refer to it, in the Mekong and its tributaries. We learned about additional tactics. We learned how to tighten up our formations. We learned to gain the element of surprise. We learned to develop naval gunfire support to a fine art. We eventually developed vertical envelopment when we introduced helicopters, and that enabled us to simultaneously land and flank the enemy on both sides of the beaches at all times, which was tremendous strategic and tactical flexibility. come a long way since World War II. Uh, we no longer uh, line up, you know, a hundred ships and send them uh, towards a beach uh, that's full of enemy defenses. Um, you know, that, that was very costly in World War II. Uh, it was the best that they could do at the time with the technology and the, the capabilities that they had, so they didn't have much of a choice. Um, but nowadays, we uh, we want to go where the enemy's not, so we want to gain access uh, without going into the teeth of the enemy. Um, so we have those capabilities with our, our, uh, our aircraft to be able to uh, fly in, especially the, the MV-22 uh, gives us a lot longer range uh, to be able to, to insert Marines uh, and troops uh, ashore from the, uh, from the sea. Um, we also uh, uh, have a, uh, our LCACs, our uh, hovercraft landing craft uh, capability that, uh, that goes a lot faster than the uh, landing craft they had in World War II, so uh, a lot longer range with that. We can keep our ships uh, basically over the horizon where they're, they're protected somewhat from the threat more than, uh, more than they were in, in the World War II era. We still uh, have a, uh, a uh, forcible entry capability. So with, with our uh, amphibious ships uh, partnered with the Carrier Strike Group and with, with all the other uh, abilities that we have, we're, we're able to gain access into uh, uh, countries where we need to gain access to. Um, we're able to put Marines ashore, uh, either with our uh, aircraft uh, or our uh, landing craft, uh, and also with their, uh, their armored vehicles, the uh, AAVs. Uh, that they have. We, we are the, the legitimate backbone of all amphibious operation. Um, you have certain platforms that are faster than us, but they can only hit in certain areas. Okay, certain beaches are able to scale. Uh, like I said, we're, just like the Higgin boats, we're effective anywhere. As long as there is a coastline, we, should be, we can get up on it and do what we have to do. We can handle anything as large as three M1 Abram tanks on board and taking that to a beach and offloading it. We've evolved over the years um, with a lot of lessons learned uh, from our, our brother and sister that sailed before us and, and, and how to make sure we do this thing you know, uh, more precisely, uh, safely, um, and with better technology. And that's the key thing. I think the technology has allowed us to be more precise um, in, in, in acquiring the target and then putting things in place uh, pretty much exactly where it's supposed to be. The LCAC gives the operational commanders the ability to do an over-the-horizon assault. We can operate 200 nautical miles from the host ship. Uh, that allows us a lot of leeway on the beachfront. We can carry a 60-ton payload at speeds up to 50 knots. We open up the world uh, shoreline. A traditional LCU could, could hit about uh, 15 to 17 percent of the shoreline throughout the world, we hit about 70% because we don't have to worry about uh, things like reefs and, and shallow water depth. So it opens up the beach. Our training, we train around our H hour, the time that we're going to hit the beach. And the idea is that the beach is clear when we hit it. We bring the Marines ashore quickly because we're fast. Um, we bring them, they stand up the force and they, they go in and fight the war. But it's all around that same time principle where the bombardment's completed. We're going in as the last shells are hitting. And as soon as that H hour goes, we cross the beach, drop the ramps, let the Marines go, and carry on the battle plan. Do we have the capability to, uh, to do a forcible entry opposed? Uh, we do. Um, but, you know, with possibly significant 
uh, casualties and, and, and problems that go with that. Um, so we want to go with enemies not, gain access, um, and then use our maneuver warfare uh, capability to, to get around the enemy and attack those critical vulnerabilities, vice uh, a head-to-head, -head, you know, uh, assault the beach, frontal assault on the beach, World War II type thing.